Pete the Cat Super Pete by Kimberly and James Dean. Pete the Cat is out for a walk. Pete listens to the owls. He listens to the frogs. Just then, Pete hears a bee. It is not coming from outside. It is coming from his watch. Pete races home. It is time for Pete the Cat to become Super Pete. Pete presses a button in his room. The wall slides away. Pete sees a set of steps. Down, down, down he goes. Pete steps into his lair. It is full of groovy things to help him fight crime. Pete the Cat puts on his awesome cat suit. He puts on his cape and his sneakers. Now Super Pete is ready to save the city. Pete sees a flash in white. There is a message on his computer. It is the mayor. Come quick, Super Pete, the mayor says. We need your help. There is trouble at the warehouse. Pete pulls a lever. Whoosh! Pete's nifty jet sinks into his lair. Pete hops into the jet. He zips into the air. Super Pete is on his way to save the day. Pete races through the sky. He hits a button. The jet shimmers. The jet disappears. Now the jet is invisible. No one will know. Super Pete is coming. Pete hovers over the warehouse. He straps on a parachute. He jumps. Pete lands on the roof. He goes inside the warehouse. It is dark. He cannot see. Pete puts on his night vision goggles. He sees two bad guys. They are carrying a box. Pete picks up a rock. He puts it in his slingshot. The rock hits the box. The bad guys drop the box. They climb out a window. Pete races to the window. The bad guys have a boat. They are getting away. Pete pushes a button on his cat suit. His sneakers turn to flippers. A mask closes over his face. Pete jumps into the water. He swims after the bad guys. Pete takes a rope from his pocket. He twirls it over his head. He tames. He throws. The rope catches the boat. Pete pulls himself along the rope. Pete climbs into the bad guy's boat. He ties up the bad guys. Pete pushes a button on his watch. His jet appears above him. Pete pulls the bad guys into his jet. Pete brings the bad guys to the mayor. Super Pete saved the day. the cat, I love my white mask. Pete the cat was walking down the street in his brand new white mask. Pete loves his white mask so much. He sang this song. I love my white mask. I love my white mask. No, Pete stepped in a large pile of strawberries. What color did it turn his mask? Red! Did Pete cry? Goodness, no! He kept walking along and singing his song. I love my red mask. 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 I love my red Oh no! Pete stepped in a large pile of blueberries. What color did it turn his mask? Blue! Did Pete cry? Goodness, no! He kept walking along and singing his song. I love my blue. I love my blue. Yes. I love my blue. I love my blue. Oh 
no, Pete stepped in a large puddle of mud. What color did it turn his mask? Brown! Did Pete cry? Goodness, no! He kept walking along and singing his song. I love my brown mask. 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 Oh no, Pete stepped in a bucket of water, and all the brown, and all the blue, and all the red were washed away. What color were his mask again? White! But now they were clean. Did Pete cry? Goodness, no! He kept walking along and singing his song. The moral of Pete's story is, no matter what you step in, keep walking along and singing your song, because it's all good. I'm rocking in my school shoes. I'm rocking in my school shoes. I'm rocking in my school shoes. Here comes Pete strolling down the street, rocking red shoes on his four furry feet. Pete is going to school, and he sings this song. I'm rocking in my school shoes. I'm rocking in my school shoes. I'm rocking in my school shoes. Pete is sitting at his desk. When his teacher says... Come on, Pete, down that hall to a room with books on every wall. Where is Pete going? The library! Pete has never been to the library before. Does Pete worry? Goodness, no! He finds his favorite book and sings his song. I'm reading Ready to eat in a big noisy room with tables and seats. Where is Pete? The lunchroom! It can be loud and busy in the lunchroom. Does Pete worry? Goodness, no! He sits down with his friends and sings his song. I'm eating in my school shoes. I'm eating. And his friends are playing outside on a green grassy field with swings and tall slides. Where is Pete? The playground! Kids are running in every direction. Does Pete worry? Goodness, no! He slides and swings and sings his song. I'm playing in my school shoes I'm playing in my school shoes I'm playing in my school shoes All day long Pete sings his song I'm singing in my school shoes I'm painting in my school shoes I'm adding school 
is done, Pete rides the bus home. Pete's mom asks him, what did you do at school today? And Pete says, I was rocking in my school shoes. 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 And I will do it again tomorrow because it's all good. It was Sunday, and Pete's friends had come to play. They were rocking to a new song when... Beep, beep, beep! There was a noise coming from across the street. Wise old Owl had a view from his tree. Pete said, Hey Owl, what do you see? Owl said, All I see are green shoes and a red hat. Pete answered, Sounds like my kind of cat. Pete could not imagine who this new guy could be. I really hope it's a new friend for me. On Monday, Pete wanted to say hi, but he was feeling kind of shy. So he just rode by and by and by and by. Until finally, Pete got to meet the new guy. Pete said, I've never met anyone quite like you. You seem like a duck and like a beaver, too. The new guy said to Pete, Hi, my name is Gus. Glad to meet you. I'm a platypus. Pete said, You're not like me. And I am not like you. But I think being different is really very cool. On Tuesday, Pete and Gus took a walk down the street. They came to Squirrel, who was playing in a tree. Hi, Gus, said Squirrel. Climbing is easy. Try and see. Gus gave the tree a try. But the branch was way too high. I wish I could climb like you, but climbing is something I just can't do. Pete said, Don't be sad. Don't be blue. There is something everyone can do. On Wednesday, Pete and Gus took a walk down the street. They came to Pete's friend Grumpy Toad who said, Come play leapfrog with me. Jumping is easy. Try and see. Gus jumped and leaped, but he couldn't get over Toad or Pete. I wish I could jump like you, but jumping is something I just can't do. Pete said, Don't be sad. Don't be blue. There is something everyone can do. On Thursday, Pete and Gus took a walk down the street. Soon they saw Octopus, who said, Come juggle with me. Juggling is easy. Try and see. I wish I could juggle like you, but juggling is something I just can't do. Pete said, Don't be sad. Don't be blue. There is something everyone can do. On Friday, Pete and Gus took a walk down the street. Gus said, I can't juggle or jump or climb a tree. It's no fun around here for me. On Saturday, 
Pete hoped Gus would come out to play. I wish Gus wasn't sad. I wish Gus wasn't blue. I wish there was something we could do. Just then, Pete heard a groovy sound. It was coming from across the street. Gus was rocking to his own beat. Sweet! Pete said, Check out Gus the platypus. He found something cool he can do with us. He's not sad. He's not blue. Gus found something that everyone can do. Pete the Cat Big Easter Adventure by Kimberly and James Dean. Pete was excited. Easter was here. He couldn't wait for his basket of goodies. Jelly beans were his favorite. Uh oh. His basket was empty except for a note. Pete, please help. Find the eggs, paint the eggs, hide the eggs. Thanks. The faster bunny. P.S. Wear these. Pete put on the bunny ears and thought, a cat with ears like a bunny now. That's funny. Happy Easter chickens. Do you have any eggs today? Pete asked. I am helping the Easter bunny. Sure, Pete. We have a lot of eggs, the chicken said. We are happy to help, but don't you need a bunny nose and fluffy bunny tail? The chickens were right. A bunny nose and tail would be neat. Then, Pete's costume would be complete. Pete put on the nose and tail like a bunny. A cat dressed up like a bunny. Now that's funny. Now Pete was ready. It was getting late and he still had a lot of eggs to decorate. What colors would Pete use? Hop, hop, hop. Off to the tools for paint and brushes. Pete couldn't wait to paint the eggs. Some eggs had one color. Some eggs had two. Some eggs were red and some eggs were blue. When the egg painting was done, Pete had a basket full of bright, colorful, amazing eggs. Now hiding them would be lots of fun. But where? Oh, where would Pete hide the eggs? around the neighborhood for all his friends to find. Pete hid eggs in flower pots. He hid them in the water spout. And when he was done hiding the eggs, Pete the cat was all worn out. Helping others out is what Easter is all about, Pete said. Pete's job was done. He was hiding the last one. When the Easter bunny arrived, Great job, Pete. You were a big help, said the Easter Bunny. The Easter Bunny gave Pete an award for a job well done. Helping others can be lots of fun. Happy Easter, everybody.